Hey there, shooters. Mike C. Klinner here, professional instructor, and I wanted to show you the Umarex Gauntlet 2. This is a big improvement over the first gauntlet. Uh, they've done a bunch of really interesting things to this particular gun. This is a 25 caliber precision air rifle. So let me break that down for you. What, I'm, what I mean precision, it's actually a 4,500 PSI tank, right, which is way up there, but it's a 2,100 pound regulated per shot. What that means in a regulated system is your shot to shot PSI is gonna be very consistent. So your feet per second of the, you know, the projectile, the pellet in this case, leaving the barrel will be very, very, very close. And the closer you are in terms of velocity, the more consistent your group's gonna be. If you have wild velocities, you know, one's very high, one drops down 50 or 60 feet per second, uh, it's not gonna be nearly as accurate. Now this gun can be used for a lot of different things, small game hunting, uh, potentially coyote hunting at the appropriate distances, target shooting upwards of 100 yards of a variety of things. There's some competitions going on that they're using these things for. It is actually fed by a small rotary uh, magazine. So you can see the pellets inside the magazine. We already have it preloaded. This actually goes inside the gun. When you run out, it locks back or you get a lock and you'll be able to insert the next one uh, into the system. Very simple operation on this one. Uh, I've got a standard bolt that I'll cock as I need to and fire shots and the safety is up near the trigger guard itself. A couple other things, you have your M-Lock slots. Um, you have, a, you know, granted a big, nice, long handguard here. Uh, I can pull whatever I wanted to in the gun. I have an adjustable cheek weld piece here. So if I wanted to adjust this so I can get that perfect cheek weld, I've got a rail system on top. This one has a nice scope on it. Of course, you could probably run a different sighting system if you wanted to, but a lot of really interesting things. And personally, I love the way it looks. Like if you can check it out and you saw me shooting this and didn't know what it was, I think you'd be like, hey, what is that thing? That's pretty cool. So anyways, let's go ahead and shoot it. Of course, safety, safety, safety. Put my glasses on here. And I'm actually gonna shoot this one from a seated position and, and just shoot a group down there and, and see how accurate I can actually get. So I'm gonna insert it. Of course, the flat area of the pellets is pointed to the rear. This inserts and I get that positive insertion. All right, so let's go ahead and fire the sucker and see how I do. Good news. Nice accurate position here. Good, I'm gonna call that good shot. And let's put a few down range here. Oh, nice. Pretty close to the last shot there. And fire a couple more. Oh, that's a great group. Getting used to the trigger. It's not got a bad trigger at all. I actually like the trigger. Wow. Now that's probably maybe a half an inch to an inch group down range, right? Uh, I really like this thing. I like how it shoots. I like how it feels. Very, very soft shooting. You know, so if you're that guy that loves to get on a bench rest and go to the range and shoot at 500 yards all day long, hey, grab something like this, set a 50 or 75 yard target, something small and precise and you could spend a half a day just working on bench rest stuff. Just sitting there, you know, pulling the trigger, firing the groups up and uh, seeing what you hit. I really like this thing.